Hello Beauty News family, welcome to a different video. Yes, very different today. <laughs> a little bit different. Uh, today we are going to be updating you guys on um, a situation that arose for us after we published a beauty news episode. Correct. And uh, we were talking about new products in that episode and we featured some Miraness products. Mm -hmm. Now we didn't say nice things about the products no. or the brand. Uh, based off our personal experience mm -hmm. and after that video was published we were contacted by Miraness's lawyers who sent us a letter threatening to sue us for defamation and damages related Correct. to that video and what we said in that video. Correct. Now some of you will know that this is something that's currently happening in our lives mm -hmm. and this video is to update you on that mm -hmm. and if you have no clue what this is about then you're about to find out you're about to find out that's very true so yeah. um, we wanted to do this because a few people have been asking us about what's going on mm -hmm. um, we're not very good at keeping secrets <laughs> so we've no. kind of alluded to it a little bit in a couple of videos and um, you know we thought we will update you before we go away because we thought it's fair and we also sort of, sort of want to let people know what brands do yeah some um, brands some not brands, all brands not all, yeah. definitely not all brands but no. some brands do yeah and um we just thought it was fair to to let you know yeah um so essentially we thought we'll start by kind of giving talking about what we said in that video and saying why we said it yes um and then we'll get further into it shall we yeah all right so in that, that beauty news episode which was april 21st mm -hmm. we haven't taken it down even no. though we're in us to yes um we for less than three minutes we talked about a new product that they were releasing there were some sponge products blushes mm -hmm. and primers and whatnot yeah and we did we were very harsh on Absolutely. the brand um now if you're aware of our channel we are quite passionate about things and we call out bullshit and we're quite crude Absolutely. so we are you know, some of the stuff that we were saying was like, they're the scum of the earth, they're fucking scammy, all this kind of stuff, which was quite crude, mm. but at the same time, it's still our opinion. It might be a crude opinion. So some people might say, I don't like that brand because I don't like the products. Yep. Now, we, in our kind of entertaining crude way, might say, I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> yeah. Means the same thing. Yeah. It's still our opinion. Yeah. It's just said in a crude way. So we did say some stuff about how they were scammy and yeah. how we talked about one of their... Um, I, I misquoted saying that they have these kind of deals where everything is like a dollar or two dollars and then... But every time you add something to the cart, the shipping goes up like $12. Mm -hmm. Look, we'll get into that, but... That was one of the things that the lawyers brought up as defamation, but it's actually a legit thing that they're offering, but it's their free trial program. So you buy things for free and then yeah. every time shipping goes up. So we were saying some stuff crudely. Yes, it is what it is. Um, but we just thought we'll give you the background of what our experience with Miraness and um, why we think these thoughts about yeah. them. How we have developed our feelings. Correct. The brand. Correct. So both of us have experienced a lot of Miraness products in our time. Um, we've both placed orders. Mm -hmm. We have both um, received products in things like subscription boxes. Off magazines. Off magazines. There was a lot of like, you know, free gifts in magazines. Mm -hmm. um, and also I've received Miraness products as presents from friends. So in my time, I've used at least... A dozen different products from Miranet. So I feel yeah. like I've got a good grasp of the range. I haven't tried it all, of course, um, but also I've tried enough to understand what the brand is like. Mm -hmm. um, now, also, some of the products that I've used, like I did use a lot of them quite a few years ago, um, but those products are still on the website, so I feel like my opinion is still valid. I feel the exact same way. My situa situation is the same. I have used a lot of products from Miraness, and by a lot, I mean definitely a dozen, mm -hmm. possibly more, uh, and the products are still available. So yep. it's a valid opinion that still stands today. So to be honest, there are some decent products um, in the Miraness range, and the actual quality of the products have never been a problem that I've had. 
Um, the, my problem is that the products are very overpriced. For mm-hmm. example, I really liked one of their blushes and I actually received it, I think in a, I think I won some prize or something and I got this little blush in it and I thought it was a sample because it was two 0.5 grams of product um, and the amount of products not listed on the website so when you do get it it's it's very very small um, now that retails for 29.95 and I remember when I was looking at repurchasing that my jaw nearly hit the floor because it is quite for what you're getting it's very expensive some of their mascara mascara duo packs can be nearly eighty dollars mm. so they're charging high end prices for products that are probably at a similar range to just drugstore brands like yeah. maybe Revlon, maybe a little bit better, but still not worth the money that they're charging. Um, also, I've had quite a few products that the packaging is broken. So I do think that the big, biggest issue with Miraness, well, there's another issue, but we'll get onto that in a second. One of the biggest issues about the products is that they're just overpriced. Yes. Now, we believe that they're overpriced because they put they give these deals out where a lot of the products um, you can either get them in free trials or heavily reduced or they have like 90% off codes or 50% off codes. So we feel like that they inflate the prices so they can make up the difference when they offer these extreme sales and deals, which is it's it's a marketing it's strategy. Legitimate marketing marketing strategy. Yes. There's nothing like illegal about it a lot of brands do it so yeah. that's just but i think that this is to the extreme so for example some brands might say okay the markup is x amount because when it goes on sale 20 percent off we need to still make a profit yeah. but miraness is literally like when we give products away for nothing we also need to make a profit overall so when someone wants to buy it it's going to be 80 dollars. like they tend to it's quite extreme and yes. that's the next pro- that's the next reason why i think a lot of people find them a little bit deceptive mm. is that they almost do a kind of like a bait and switch deal yeah. it's yeah. you you have the opportunity to try products for free or at a very very cheap price you mm-hmm. do pay for postage which i think we'll discuss more in a minute Uh, But then when you go to buy that product that you fell in love with, like their mascaras, their secret weapon weapon mascara is very, very popular. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like it. But when you go to buy it, it's going to cost you $40. So when you are purchasing something at a deeply discounted price and then you go in to buy it full price and you realize that these are basically department store prices Mm -hmm. it's quite shocking yeah it's a very the contrast is vast yeah so i tend to hook people in with their deals Mm. and then it is a bit of a wake-up call when you then need to repurchase the products um so that's where people kind of get a bit confused Mm -hmm. and that's kind of where i stopped buying from them because i found that to be quite misleading um and i found that their full Full price products are overpriced. Yes. Now we're big consumers. We've been reviewing makeup individually for over five years. Mm -hmm. So we try a lot of brands. We know roughly where the quality should be in the market Mm -hmm. and they're charging far too much full priced. So when you go onto the website, it can be a little bit confusing. And while we're talking, you are going to see images on the screen of other people's accounts when it comes to using the website. Mm -hmm. So this isn't an isolated experience that we have had. This is based off other consumers' experiences as well. So when you go onto the website, it can be misleading because you might find a product in a sales section for say $10 with a normal price of $40. But then you go to another section of the website and the exact same product is there with that full price on it. So it can be very confusing when you see a product listed at full price and listed at a sale price on the same website. Or even if you're going to add something to your cart or you buy something and you buy it full price and then you get, you feel like you've been ripped off because it's also on the site at a lower price. Yes. So it is a very confusing way of buying products and it it, it does, evidently confuse a lot of people. Mm -hmm. 
Also, some of their sales that they offer are also quite confusing and leave a lot of people feeling ripped off. So the one that I was referring to was their free trial program where you can add products to, the, to your cart and you don't pay for the products, but every time you add a product to the cart, shipping goes up by, currently it's $8. Yes. Now, a lot of people find this to be almost a scam because if you are offering a free trial program, you shouldn't be charging $8 for the product because essentially you're paying $8 for the product. You're not getting it for free. And people talk about ordering, um, you know, two lip products and a lip liner and having to pay 20 odd dollars for mm. shipping or going to like wanting to buy products and they add six products to the cart where they think are going to be free. And then all of a sudden it's 50 odd dollars and it shocks them and they end up, you know, closing it and not buying the product yes so it is it does come across as being very misleading and a lot of people have described it as being a scam yes. now is it a scam no, no because it is specified that it's incremental shipping mm -hmm. but for people that don't understand that or haven't looked into it they find it shocking and they find it scammy which yes. is what we referred to and i've actually purchased from that deal so me too personal experience yeah it's a bit scammy yes or at the very least misleading. Other people are stating that they might get a discount code for 90% off and then when they try to add it to the cart, it either doesn't work or it goes down to 50% off. Sometimes their sales that they have these huge claims and they um, come across as being great sales, but they're very confusing and convoluted and there's mm. often more to them. So um, people, this is where I'm saying that they tend to up the prices of their permanent products to um, make up for these sales mm. but a lot of the time people can't even get the proper sales because it's not as simple as it might seem. seem to be yeah the terms and conditions aren't easily or readily available mm -hmm. for people who see a 90 percent off sale and then they go and they put the code in and it's not quite what it seems yeah. also people have had a lot of issues with the way they market their products so mm. for example um, i was on their mailing list for a very long time and I could put on the screen, like I got off it a couple of years ago, but they were sending emails multiple times oh a day. Yes. So there are some times, and this is just a quick look into my emails, there were some times I was sending them three times a day. Now that is all excessive. that is excessive, and we have heard that they were reported. Um, or investigated for spamming yes and that's why in that video we said that they've been in trouble before now we don't know the conclusion of that I'm no. assuming that they were found not to be spamming people but their marketing is excessive yes um, also people are saying that they are misleading and quite deceptive in their emails um, some people are saying that they might say that they've won a particular award when in fact that award hasn't even, like the voting hasn't even closed on it. Yeah. So there are some misleading things that they do. And also what did they do with Beauty, beauty Heaven? Beauty Heaven. So it was, Beauty Heaven is an Australian website. It is a beauty based website where you can read articles about beauty products and also review products. Now, Every year they have awards. You would vote for your favorite products in particular categories. Now, Miraness was a part of this voting experience or this award mm -hmm. and they sent out emails to Beauty Heaven members and they made the emails look like they had been sent from Beauty Heaven. Telling people to vote for Miraness. Yes. So, and also saying you can win a thousand dollar prize pack if you vote in these awards and being very much like Miraness, Miraness, Miraness. So it's very misleading. The Beauty Heaven did come out to say that they don't send these emails out on behalf of other brands and um, clever members of Beauty Heaven did notice that they weren't actually coming from Beauty Heaven. They were coming from Miraness with the title of being from Beauty Heaven. So that is that is misleading. Very misleading. That is. It's absolutely misleading because not everyone sits down and inspects their email. Yeah. They just read it. Yeah. And 
you know, if you are someone that trusts Beauty Heaven and you were like, okay, they're saying that Miraness is a great brand, that once again is potentially scamming people. Yes. You are pretending to be another website promoting your brand when in fact <laughs> you are deceptively pretending to be that website that people exactly. trust. So there are a lot of reasons why people think that Miraness, even though legally they're not a scam, they are very, very dodgy with the way they market their products. They are the, it's, it's, it's very difficult for yeah. me to compose myself as a beauty lover and a beauty consumer yeah. because I see the tactics that they use and it, it actually really infuriates me, which yes. is why I had the opinion that I had and why we were so harsh on the brand when we talked about their new products. Mm -hmm. You know, they are not, they are not a scam. No. Do they come across as scammy? Potentially. Yes. In yes. my opinion, yes. And in a lot of pe people's opinion, yes. Yeah. So we were harsh on them. We did call them scammy. But it's up to you if you think those kind of practices are scammy or not. Yes. Legally, they are not. However, the way they come across, yeah, it's, it's up to you how you feel about that. Correct. One person has also reached out to us um, and gave their experience of dealing with the brand. Now, this person wanted to stay anonymous and um, they pretty much said that they had dealt with mental health issues and um, they were buying from Miraness. And I'll put a little account on the screen of what they said, but they were saying that they, they sort of said that they felt like the marketing tactics of Miraness almost preyed on vulnerable people. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people who might be vulnerable to these marketing tactics are the ones that buy a lot of product and then evidently feel ripped off because they've been taken advantage of. So that's just a personal opinion of a particular person. Yeah. Um, it's not our opinion because no. we haven't experienced that, but their marketing tactics are quite aggressive. Mm -hmm. And I believe that they use a lot of psychology to entice people into getting hooked into their products. Yes. And really make you feel like you're getting a good deal. Yeah. When, when you look at it as a bigger picture and all of a sudden you've got 40 Miraness mascaras and lip glosses, yeah. you're like, wait, wait, this is a bit much. Yeah. So I can respect where that particular person was coming from yeah. in that situation. Yeah. And I see Miraness's tactics as being almost as aggressive as pokey machines mm. they offer all these amazing deals and you're getting this great deal and you're getting this free thing and you're lucky winner of blah 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 and for some people who can't control their spending or aren't switched on enough to be like that's bullshit yeah they're the ones that are preyed on essentially mm -hmm. all right so all that kind of stuff and being aware of that because mm -hmm. a few years ago we used to be part of a lot of forums and beauty groups and a lot of people were talking about their experiences with Miraness and a lot of them were overwhelmingly negative. Yes. So that's how we formed our opinion of the brand. And that's what kind of fueled our rant, our rant about them in that rant. video. Yeah. Now, um, a couple of weeks after that video w was up, we got a letter from the lawyers, like we said, you can see it on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, and it was essentially saying that we have defamed the brand. Mm -hmm. They accused us of not being a customer of the brand and therefore it being false, mm -hmm. which is absurd, especially since Miraness is not like you don't only like we've ordered from Miraness. I have Absolutely. receipts, yes. um, but also you can get Miraness from magazines, from Sephora Australia. You can get it from multiple places. So the mm -hmm. fact that they accused us of not being customers is a, is a quite unfair. Yeah. Um, they also said that what they want us to do was um, take down the video, pay for their damages, pay for their legal costs, and essentially never talk about Miraness again, mm -hmm. which we said we're not going to do. So they ended up giving us two days to respond. They didn't even point out what section of the act we were breaching. It was like a heavily worded threat. Yes. So we responded within two business days because... You're welcome. Mm -hmm. um, and we essentially told them that everything they had an issue with was either 
based on our personal opinion, mm -hmm. an honest opinion is um, a defense to defamation, um, or it was based on fact, which is also a de defense to defamation. So um, we sent this letter and we did also tell them that instead of trying to censor the internet, which we'll get into a bit more soon, um, that they should actually listen to people's reviews and instead of trying to um, delete them or hide them or threaten people with legal action, they should actually listen to what the reviewers are saying and better their brand. Mm -hmm. um, that's essentially what we said and we said at this time we're not taking the video down and we're not going to comply with any of your demands. Now we sent that letter off um, and we followed it up. Uh, twice? Yeah, yeah twice. <laughs> one via email, one with a phone call. We can tell you the lawyer was not happy to hear from us. No. He was quite patronizing and yeah. quite unprofessional. <laughs> um, and then we ended up getting another letter back just last week. Mm -hmm. So um, they are not dropping it. They still think that we've defamed the brand and they are going to see how much damage our uh, video has caused them, which I think is quite laughable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite amusing that they think that we've damaged their brand since... Um, the majority of the people that watched our video had never heard of Miraness. Nobody and even co commented on that video. Like, and yeah, people about like Miraness. Yeah, they didn't even know. They who, didn't even know who they were. Who um, it was. And then also, we decided to conduct a poll in our group, and um, it showed that people have a negative opinion of the band, the brand, regardless. Mm. So we are just voicing what a lot of people think about the brand. Mm. So. Our video has not tarnished the reputation of the brand. Their actions have tarnished the reputation of the brand. And we are just a mouthpiece for the people who are disgruntled with yeah. their practices. So this is what's really frustrating about the brand. They are trying to um, delete and censor and, and make people think they have a great reputation. But deep down, a lot of people do not like the brand. No. It is not our fault. No. It is the brand's fault. So if you look on the surface of what Miraness is about and what the brand is like and the products, you will see it is very positive. Yeah. Lots of people love their products. We even said they're not bad. Like yeah. they have a lot of great products. However, if you dig a little deeper, if you take a little rabbit hole into the internet, you will quite quickly find people who are stating that they feel like they are being censored by the brand. Yep. So there are some accounts of people leaving reviews on social media like Facebook and finding out that their reviews have not only been deleted, but they have been blocked yep. from accessing the page. So this seems to happen on multiple occasions. Um, and also a lot of people who leave their reviews aren't even that negative. They're more mm -hmm. to do with... Um, I tried to contact customer service and I haven't heard back in two weeks. Um, and then res responding to someone else who's also wanting to contact customer service and they said, don't hold your breath, like they don't respond. So this is not swearing or being like saying anything horrible or against any of the guidelines of Facebook. This is just feedback. Yeah. And they are not taking it well and they are deleting and they are censoring people. And you can see that their Facebook rating is quite high. Mm -hmm. You can also see that mo all, all of the comments pretty much on Facebook are quite positive. Now, the last or the earliest comment that you can see on their Facebook page is from two, December 2015. Now, their Facebook page opened in 2009. And I can tell you that there were definitely comments and negative comments on their Facebook page years ago because I was one of the people that actually commented. It wasn't super negative. I think I was sharing a post or doing something or whatever it was back in the day. Um, and what they've essentially done in those kind of murky years where they were getting a lot of bad feedback, they have just wiped all comments on their Facebook page. So in their recent years when they have maybe cleaned up their act a little bit, they are just keeping the positive reviews. So if you were a person that were going, oh, I've never heard of this brand before, I might look into it, you will see glowing reviews, mm -hmm. but deep down, that's actually just the tip of the iceberg. That's what they want to show you, but it's, there's actually a lot more shit going on. So um, this is why we wanted to make this video, in case yeah. you were interested in the brand and you were like, okay, 
it looks so shiny and amazing and yeah. great and the offers are amazing. Um, there is a lot more to the story. Yeah. Now, when it comes to censoring people, um, we are not the first people that Miraness have threatened legal action against. Mm -hmm. We actually have a screenshot here of a Beauty Heaven member back in 2014. She says her review was removed from this site as Beauty Heaven were worried about legal implications due to not being able to verify what I was saying was true. However, Miraness has since deleted my account after my review on the Beauty Heaven website. I did not ask to be deleted. I feel Miraness is trying to silence my experience with them. Why else would they need to delete my account? Now, this is completely unfair. Yeah. This is really, really horrible to do to someone. If you have a personal experience with a product and whether it be positive or negative and you want to voice it, you are entitled to voice it. Yeah. That is your experience. That is your opinion. People can't take that away from you. And you don't need to verify facts about why you hold an opinion. You're able to hold an opinion because that's what you're entitled to have. Exactly. Now, what they've essentially done here, and you'll notice as well, if you go onto the Beauty Heaven website, you can no longer leave reviews from Miraness mm -hmm. because they would have received a similar legal letter as we did, and instead of actually fighting back, they would have been like, shit, let's just... Too, too, too hard. hard. Yeah. Too hard basket. Let's just delete that review and delete Miraness yeah. because they would have caused a lot of trouble. So... Yeah. In a, on a website where you can freely go to for honest customer feedback, you no longer can see the negative reviews that Miraness were getting because they censored it by mm -hmm. threatening the website with legal action. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that's really unfair because yeah. a lot of people rely on these types of sites to get honest feedback and mm -hmm. honest reviews. And this is just a way that shows you that Miraness is trying to control that. Mm -hmm. Now, um, another thing that Miraness tends to do is they jump onto forums and things like that and they um, reply, sometimes a little bit passive aggressive and or mansplaining-ish, mm -hmm. and they try to put out spot fires. Yeah. Now, they we've even got evidence to show that they have their Google alerts on and mm -hmm. so whenever someone does mention them, which is probably how they're alerted to our video, mm -hmm. that they are on it. Yeah. Now, I feel like if someone is so defensive with their brand that they are trying to get into the little corners of the internet to put out spot fires, mm -hmm. it says something about the brand. Like yeah. They've got a lot of shit to hide if that's yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the video that we published, it's not it's not a popular video. If you, no. If you look at, you know, we have videos with nearly 2 million views and then you look at that thing with like 10,000. Yeah. It's no one cares. Like, and no one cared about that part with the brand. No one commented on it. Look, there might have been one or two comments, but yeah, no nothing of note. So that video would have been buried in the nether of YouTube, but Miraness had to send a cease and desist letter. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It is Over ridiculous. someone's opinion. Yeah. Not cool. No. So we. When you look at our channel, you might go, oh, this is a fairly big channel. We have 90-something thousand subscribers at this particular point. But if you go back six months, we had like 2,000 subscribers. Yeah. We were nobody. We were not even a drop in the ocean of yeah. YouTube. We had one lucky break and rode the wave to get where we are today. Mm -hmm. So... If you are a beauty blogger or you have a small YouTube channel or you just have an Instagram account where you post pictures of pretty things that you like or maybe do micro reviews of products, we are you. Yeah. We are one step away from you. We are one lucky post away from where you guys are. Mm -hmm. We are just normal people. Yeah. We're not special. We haven't been doing this you know, we haven't been knee deep in hundreds of thousands of subscribers and billions and billions of views for a long time. Yeah. So we are just, we're normal bloggers. That's pretty much what it comes down to. And to know that brands are 
or some brands can come out and try to strong arm the small fry is scary and it's sad and we saw it happen with x barkage recently Mm -hmm. and evie blender and if you are us just small fry and a brand threatens you because of something that you've said about a product that is based on your personal opinion and your personal experience with the product you don't have to take it lying down yeah you don't have to be scared Mm -hmm. personal opinion is a case yeah it's It's a a defense defense to to defamation defamation. yeah so and that's the thing like we are just we're doing this video because we want you to know a what's going on yeah b if this happens to you you don't be scared yeah like these letters we're just hoping we're hoping it will go away yeah of but at the same time we know that what we've done is not wrong. Mm-hmm. It is just expressing our opinion yeah. and we're entitled to do that. Yes, we excre- es- expressed it in a very crass way. Yeah, yeah. we get it. Like, we totally we get, get it. that. But that's not illegal. No. It's not illegal to swear no. when you're describing an experience. Yeah. So, yeah, just essentially we wanted to be like, okay, this is what's happening with us um, and if this has happened to you or does happen to you in the future, don't back down. Like. Mm. It's not cool and they don't have, like, we believe that they don't have the right to do it so we're not going to back down. They just kind of mess with the wrong people because we're quite loud and we're quite outspoken and we're not going to go down without a fight because we know our rights. Mm -hmm. So um, we are going to keep you updated on the matter. We're not trying to milk this. We're not trying to make a big deal. We just wanted to let you know what we're going through and if you find yourself in the same position... Mm not to back down because it's a scary situation to be in and if we weren't so like strong-willed um and if we weren't doing it together yeah i think that's we're very lucky in this situation because we do have each other to help support each other so we can be the strong australian women who were born in the 80s and grew up through you know tough times and good and we can be like no 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 we're not taking this lying down yeah and you can be like that as well so don't be afraid of big brands who are trying to bully you and threaten you into doing things that you don't want to do say no to bullies say no to bullies exactly say no to censorship correct so this is an ongoing thing for us it's not over uh we don't know when it will be over and i'm sure this video does not help the situation no we're gonna do what we're gonna do if we need to see a lawyer we'll see a lawyer yeah but um yeah when we know more we will update you and hopefully that knowing more will be over so that's all we can do for now guys um we hope you enjoyed this video (laughs) yeah our normal outro just does not work work. with this one um but uh, we'd love to know your opinions on the matter and um yeah if you have any stories to tell or anything to share definitely leave it in the comments down below because it's an interesting situation yeah oh i think one thing we should say is please don't go and have a dig at Miraness no. about this it's it won't help the situation and um look we don't want to fuel the fire or poke the bear or cause drama or cause drama which i think regardless having this video go up is going to do to some extent but we also want to keep you guys informed yeah. and and we, stand up for the little guys we do Hopefully one day this could potentially help someone else who is in the similar, a similar situation. Correct. All right, guys, we're going to go. We'll see you in the next one and it will be much brighter and better. Yes. Yay. Yay. See ya. Bye.